Low snap. He collects it. Immediately is on the run. Trying to stay alive and hurls it along the sidelines. And left alone is Ryan Williams. Eighth play of this opening drive. It's a keeper. Milrow follows the back. Milrow explodes to the secondary. Race for the end zone. Touchdown tied. What a start. And this block right here on the left side by Tyler Booker. Watch him get up, push that defensive lineman down another level. Linebacker blitzes, a little bit of pressure right here, actually took himself right out of the play, and then he just uses that speed. Had 155 yards, we talked about in the open last year with a four. Came with DeBoer from Washington. Connor Tulti's boot is taken by Xavier Thomas at the goal line, slips a tackle. Thomas has got speed and is still moving out near midfield. They finally angle him out of bounds, but a great start for Garrett Nussmeyer. For kind of an unsung hero of this Bama defense. Chris Hilton and C.J. Daniels, important parts of the receiving room, back healthy tonight as Durham gets the first carry, running right through a crease. Look out, Caden Durham finally forced out of bounds at the five-yard line as the freshman. Four potential field goals at AM. He missed two, and they had that bad snap. They want to get this operation cleaned up. Ramos Ooh. sneaks it inside in two series. Second and five, Milrow flips it back, it's a screen, and Miller has got some space, and he scoots down. Justice Haynes, trying to drive those legs, dove near the goal line, and touchdown is signaled from the near side. So Justice Haynes caps off a drive that Haynes just kept powering his feet. Somehow he gets underneath that, that Defensive front, he ends up on the other side of it. They had him completely stoned at the line of scrimmage. Crowd not convinced they saw the football break the plane. Haynes just kept powering his feet. Somehow he gets underneath that, that defensive front. He ends up on the other side of it. They had him completely stoned at the line of scrimmage. Williams with his skills, not terribly experienced as a returner. It's a line drive kick. He'll field it. Williams had a gap. Ryan Williams accelerates, spins, and is finally brought down in LSU territory. Good news for Nussmeyer as they begin from the 10. Play fake. Steps up, fires down the middle. A beautiful throw and a catch by Mason Taylor, and they're backed up no longer. They wanted to target him more and earlier than they did against the Aggies. End around here. Xavier Thomas has the edge, accelerates, and is pushed out. Play pick again on the first down. They pitch it back underneath to Williams. Josh Williams, some rhythm. This from 43, and that's more like it. Ramos has been reliable. And fake it to Durham. Nussmeyer immediately under pressure. Loses the football. It's on the ground, and it's scooped up. And Alabama with the takeaway. Tim Smith made the recovery. Boom, the wet ball definitely affects the fumble there. Now the tide, Milrow keeper. Milrow, first down, Moore still running, and will scoot out of bounds at the 10. Chester turning the wrong way and not seeing it. Milrow, keeper all the way, Jalen Milrow, touchdown! Number four continues to be a nightmare for this LSU defense, shades of last year. Justin Haynes, he's easily solved that he's gonna just use can they get this drive going? Need four. Nussmeyer flushed by a four-man rush. On the move this time, tucks the ball and makes a productive run for a first down. Tied again, crowd the line. They don't bring big-time pressure. Nussmeyer on the move, high throw, catch made. First down at the 25. Target. Nussmeyer. Again, on the move, surveys, pokes it down to the five-yard line. Lacey finally makes a big play, steps out of bound. Slot right, Williams is the back. And Nussmeyer across the middle, throwing interception. Deontay Lawson makes the pick. Haynes still in the game as they check Miller out. End around, Ryan Williams has a convoy. Ryan Williams.
Adams steps up. They finally run him down. Moreau again, keeper. Kayla Melo to the house. The hat trick, rushing touchdowns for the tied quarterback. 19 yards there, and this is getting to be 225, and then he pulls away from you with that ability to cut back and go to the house. Showed up in a bad mood, and they have not lost that edge throughout the game. Nussmeyer, sideline route, catch made. Lacey hesitated, gets going. Yeah. Texas would be in yeah. that mix. Wait. Late pressure, and he rolled right into it, right into the path. LSU trying to get off the field here. Both Haynes and Miller in the backfield. First time we've seen this look, and now Miller motions out. Milrow just takes off. Guess what? Quarterback Taylor. run. Taylor Milrow with the sprint. Number four with his fourth rushing touchdown. 72 yards. A dagger to the Tigers' hopes. And Milrow down. You get both backs, and they're going to end up motioning Miller out. And you can see a linebacker follow him. But when you follow him, see him pointing, a little hesitation. Now look at that back side. You get a, now that back to left is good. 22 is going to lead the way. Picks up that safety, and now it's speed. I mean, that's 60 yards. He's just out running everybody on that LSU defense. Not his style, but he could have done what Kyler Murray did. When the Cardinals played the 49ers, he couldn't put the finger in the air at about the 40-yard line because it was over at that point. That's his longest career run right there. How about the last two years? <laughs> Three, four. He left. And he's not done. And it's going to be some grumbling around here. They, they don't mind grumbling. They're tremendously supportive. Xavier Thomas. Trying to streak free, flag comes in late in the return as he's knocked down. Another flag comes in. Snap a 14-game home winning streak. They've got 15 straight wins at night coming in here. Kelly's first loss in a home night game, and that's a much during the day. Indiana State unbeaten, hard-fought win over Michigan. Miami fell from the ranks of the unbeaten, losing to Georgia Tech. And Richard Young will just waltz into the end zone for a sixth rushing touchdown for Alabama tonight. These, these guys are going to come out, take advantage of the chances that they get, and Richard Young gets to the putting it together tonight. Lacey makes the catch, goes to a knee. The post-game radio talk shows will be here as the Tide. Trying to keep LSU from scoring. There's an end zone throw and coming back and making the catch for a touchdown is Lacey. So a very, very late touchdown by the Tigers. That's perfectly placed there. Thought we'd see more of that tonight. Yeah, knees. Get things in order. They can still have a good year. It's not a, well, of course, their goals are always going to be the playoff, but. You just don't want to lose the season after a devastating loss like this. And for the Tide, they come to Tiger Town and make an emphatic statement for the first minutes of the game.